Creating animation is a complicated process, and a lot of people ask me, Daniel, can I use Filmora to create animation of my own? Well, the short answer is, ah, yeah, you can. <laughs> Stick around, I'll show you how. Hell, I, I might want to stay this way. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. The first thing I did was film a piece of footage that I wanted to use. Now, there's no inherent built-in feature that allows me to create illustrations in Filmora, so I knew I'd have to figure out a way to make this work. Real illustrators create their animation by drawing them one frame at a time, and I know I didn't have the time to do that. So what I did was I took my footage, and where I decided I wanted to animate it, I stretched out my timeline so I was down to the single frames. I split my footage there so I'd know where I wanted to start, and I took a snapshot by clicking the button up underneath the preview window. I then moved one frame forward and shot another frame. I moved another frame forward and shot another frame. I kept doing this for the entire section that I wanted to animate. And once I had all the frames together that I wanted for that section, I had to find some ability to turn these into illustrations. I looked everywhere for something that was free, but the best software I found was actually a web-based photo editing software called Be Funky. Using their photo editor, I was able to bring my snapshots in one at a time and apply a filter to them that made it look like a cartoon. They have this cool artsy section that allows you to take your image and apply this cartoonizer to it. That saved me all the time in the world. It took each frame and made it look like a drawing. Then all I did was save these onto my computer, and then I just put all of those images into one big file. Filmora had already numbered them for me when I took the snapshots. Now I knew each one of these cartoon images I only wanted to be one frame long. So what I did was I went up to File, chose Preferences, and in the Editing tab, I made sure that the photo durations for anything that I was bringing in was set to one frame only. That way when I brought in all of these images and brought them down onto my timeline, they would each be set already for one frame each. I just laid them back over that section where I had started my snapshots and now I had my animation. I was able to use the scene below it to make sure all of the audio lined up correctly. Once I was done, I just exported all of it, and voila. I chose to film all of this and set my project for 24 frames per second because I knew I didn't want to have to clip any more frames than was absolutely necessary. If you'd like to learn more Filmora tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you click the video that's on screen now and the ones I've got pinned down below. Peace.